so they, ah. they should know about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, can you see any um, Czech connection in terms of the Czech way of thinking of the Czech uh, outlook on life, way of composing or way of hearing music in Beethoven, or is he completely Germanic or influenced by other... We can definitely connect Beethoven with Czechs. For example, uh, I think uh, about Prince Joseph Franz Lobkowitz, his sponsor, to whom he dedicated the 3rd, 5th and 6th symphonies. And he spent a lot of time uh, uh, actually in Teplice for the spa. Of course, we can connect Czech Republic to Beethoven, especially with, uh, with the, the myth of the immortal beloved. And uh, that, that's something really interesting, that this letter, this fabulous letter, wrote, uh, he wrote from, uh, from the spa in Teplice, he sent to uh, Karlsbad, and uh, while the woman was going through Prague, and that, that's really interesting. The, the mystery will stay in Czech Republic, because really, we have some, we have some uh, elements to answer the question, who was the immortal beloved? But we probably won't know for sure who it, it was. The, this big mystery is happening right here in Czech Republic. <laughs> <laughs> One of Beethoven's pupil also was of Czech origin and who wrote uh, methods and piano exercises and you know him, it's uh, Karl Czerny. Czerny also taught Liszt as well as Reicha because Reicha uh, taught uh, composition to Liszt. He spent a lot of time in Prague also, he had a, a very close friend who was a lawyer in Prague. There the also an, another Czech he met at the end of his life, it's uh, Anton Schindler, his last assistant, his last secretary. There's a little controversy about Schindler because he, he collected the notebooks, you know, uh, Beethoven was deaf. At the end of his life, he wrote in notebooks what he wanted to, to say, and people wrote back the answer. That's the way he used to communicate. And Schindler uh, actually collected these notebooks and published them. But he added some entries to make him look good. <laughs> and uh, also he deleted what, what was embarrassing for Beethoven. So his, this first biography he wrote uh, was completely unreliable. And who knows what would have happened if Beethoven could have blogged these days. And uh, you've blogged about these conversations and uh, these gossips all along the way. Uh, but we have something much more immortal than, than that and than the stories behind Beethoven's life who have his music, which is far better than, than a biography.